Hello, week six. God, don't time fly. My hair don't get any better, does it? Um, anyway, um, week six of the uh, 10th anniversary run through of our debut album. And so I'm going to talk today about track six, which is um, absence or, you know, letter from a Falklands veteran, an absent father. Um, it's, um, I get asked quite a bit about this song actually, about, you know, what, where did it come from? And it's a mixture of some sort of true experiences with, with somebody who I used to be in a band with a long time ago, uh, who, um, you know, I'm that generation and the three of us are of that generation where we were a sort of school. Uh, teenagers at school when the Falklands War broke out and it had a very big sort of impact on us. I, I, I distinctly remember, like, you know, a genuine fear that could we end up being called if it, it grows, you know, could we be conscripted? I think Andy tells a lovely story about a lad in his class who they, they actually sort of, like, you know, they, they tricked him and sort of put together like a... Uh, a mock letter from, you know, from the Ministry of Defence and posted it to him saying that he'd been called up, you know, and put him into a panic. But I do remember that was a genuine sort of concern for us at that point. And, and, and you know, I, I, I did sort of latterly play in a band with uh, someone who'd, who was involved in the Falklands conflict. Um... And it was the idea of what I, what I was suppose I wanted to look at was the idea of um, of post traumatic stress disorder and how these things don't just affect the, the 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 main protagonist the person who was there it's it's the impact it has on their families and you know in this case it's about someone who's so affected by what's happened he doesn't return to the family home which obviously then has a big impact on you know his his spouse and, and his his child and it's built around the idea of asking for forgiveness sort of later in life saying you know try to re-establish some bonds um and again it's quite a, a simple song i think this you know, Simon had got hold of this harp and he was learning to play it, you know, as we were all learning at that time to play the new instruments we'd bought. And he had this sort of, you know, repetitive sort of looped riff that he was playing. It was very simple and just, you know, the little simple melodies we were playing around with with it. Um, and what I love about that song is is the space in it. There's so much space in that song. Um, you know, there's the harp. Andy just is playing, uh, you know, when we do it, he, he, there's a melodica. There's a little bit of a sort of keyboard pattern that I play that underpins parts of it. And there's the glockenspiel and out. Andy had obviously programmed some sort of filtered um, sort of loops underneath it as well. But there's real space in that song for the story to sort of, you know, be told and uh, you know it's, it's a very good song I think you know there's a lot of people who are very attached to that song um, so you know I hope you enjoy it well what we're going to do now is we're going to play you a version of it and interestingly enough we've got lots of versions of this from early concerts but the one that I really like is the one we did during the recent you know sort of uh, acoustic sessions we were doing out in uh, out in the landscape of sort of Greater Manchester, Lancashire, and this we did this recording. I think it was at the Plunge in Edenfield, nice little spot uh, where you know it was a different sort of uh, environments, and we filmed a few things there because you could sort of mix it up a bit. And this was this I think we did in a in a bit of a woodland area there. And we all really like it. It's an acoustic version of the song. Um, but I think it still captures, you know, the spirit of it very much. And uh, so this is Absence.
Thank you very much. 